Good morning, I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about response of oral circuit excited by exponential signal. This topic is present in the subject circuit analysis or circuit theory under the unit transient analysis. Consider the oral circuit with no initial inductor current and excited by an exponential signal capital V e power minus e t as shown in figure A. This is the representation of a oral circuit which is excited by an exponential signal V e power minus e t. Let the switch be closed at time t is equal to 0. Let I of t is the current that is flowing through the oral circuit. V suffix R of t is the voltage drop across the resistor capital R. V suffix L of t is the voltage drop across the inductor L. Now, the transient equations of the oral circuit excited by an exponential signal shown in figure A are I of t is equal to capital V divided by R into 1 minus A tau, the whole multiplied by E power minus A t minus E power minus t by tau. And V suffix R of t is equal to capital V divided by 1 minus A tau into E power minus A t minus E power minus t by tau. V L of t is equal to V divided by 1 minus A tau into E power minus T by tau minus A tau E power minus A t. Now we are going to obtain the proof for the response of oral circuit excited by exponential signal. The S domain equation of the oral circuit is shown in figure B. This is the representation of the S domain equivalent of the oral circuit which is excited by exponential signal. Let Laplace of I of T is equal to capital I of S. Laplace of V suffix R of T is equal to capital V suffix R of S. Laplace of V suffix L of T is equal to capital V suffix L of S. Laplace of V into E power minus A T is equal to V divided by S plus A. And the value of capital V suffix R of S is equal to R into I of S. And V suffix L of S is equal to S L I of S. With reference to figure B, by KVL, we can write V suffix R of S plus V suffix L of S is equal to capital V divided by S plus A because the voltage drop across the resistance plus voltage drop across the inductance that is equal to applied voltage. Therefore, if you substitute the value of V suffix R of S and V suffix L of S that is R into I of S plus S L I of S means we get R I of S plus S L I of S that is equal to V divided by S plus A. I of S into R plus S L that is equal to capital V divided by S yes, plus A that is I of S is equal to capital V divided by S yes, plus A plus R plus S yes into L that is capital V divided by S yes, plus A into L into S yes, plus R by L that is equal to capital V divided by L into 1 divided by S plus A into S plus R by L. 
by partial fraction expansion technique the expression i of s can be expressed as i of s is equal to v divided by l into 1 divided by s plus a into s plus r by l that is equal to k1 divided by s plus a plus k2 divided by s plus r by l now we have to determine the value of k1 and k2 to find k1 k1 is equal to v by l into 1 divided by s plus a into s plus r by l the whole multiplied by s plus a at s is equal to minus a we have to substitute that is k1 is equal to v divided by l into 1 divided by minus a plus r by l because we have substituted the value of s is equal to minus a. So k1 is equal to v divided by l into 1 divided by r by l taken as common into minus a into l by r plus 1 that is the value of k1 is equal to v by r into 1 minus a tau where tau is equal to l by r that is the time constant of rl circuit now we are going to determine the value of k2 k2 is equal to v divided by l into 1 divided by s plus a into s plus r by l the whole multiplied by s plus r by l and we have to substitute the value of s is equal to minus r by l that is v divided by l into 1 divided by minus r by l plus a that is v divided by l into 1 divided by we have to take r by l as common means minus r by l into 1 minus a into l by r that is equal to minus v divided by r into 1 minus a tau so the value of k2 is equal to minus k1 Therefore, I of S is equal to K1 into 1 divided by S plus A plus K2 into 1 divided by S plus R by L. Let us take the inverse Laplace transform of the above equation. That is Laplace inverse of I of S is equal to Laplace inverse of K1 into 1 divided by S plus A minus k1 into 1 divided by s plus r by l because the value of k2 is equal to minus k1 therefore i of t is equal to k1 into laplace inverse of 1 divided by s plus a minus k laplace inverse of 1 divided by s plus r by l that is i of t is equal to k1 as taken as a common and laplace inverse of 1 by s plus a is e power minus a t and laplace inverse of s plus r by l is e power minus t divided by l by r that is i of t is equal to k1 as common into e power minus a t minus e power minus t divided by l by r that is i of t is equal to v divided by r into 1 minus a tau the cool multiplied by e power minus a t minus e power minus t by tau because we have substituted the value of k1 here where tau is equal to l by r 
that is the time constant of the RL circuit. With reference to figure A, by Ohm's law, we can write Vr of t is equal to R into I of t. Therefore, the value of Vr of t is equal to capital R into V divided by R into 1 minus A tau into open the bracket E power minus A t minus E power minus T by tau. The value of R get cancelled means we get V R of T is equal to capital V divided by 1 minus A tau into E power minus A T minus E power minus T by tau. This is the value of the voltage across the resistor. With reference to figure A by KVL, we can write voltage drop across the resistance plus voltage drop across the inductance is equal to applied voltage. That is V R of T plus V L of T is equal to capital V into E power minus A T. From this equation, we get V L of T is equal to capital V E power minus A T minus V R of T. We know the value of the V R of T. So, putting the value of V R of T in the above equation, we get V L of T is equal to V into E power minus A T minus V divided by 1 minus A tau into e power minus a t minus e power minus t divided by tau. Finding the value of v l of t. v l of t is equal to v divided by 1 minus a tau into open the bracket 1 minus a tau into e power minus a t minus e power minus a t plus e power minus t by tau. That is, if you simplify this equation means v l of t is equal to v divided by 1 minus a tau into open the bracket e power minus a t minus a tau e power minus a t minus e power minus a t plus e power minus t by tau. That is, V L of T is equal to V divided by 1 minus A tau into open the bracket minus A tau E power minus A T plus E power minus T by tau. That is, the value of V L of T is equal to V divided by 1 minus A tau into open the bracket E power minus T divided by 